and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be wrapping up the genre thon. I participated in a readathon last week where I had to choose three different books from three different genres and read them in a week. And I read some really great books, so I'm really excited to share. So let's get this going. The first book that I read to kick off the genre thon was The Magicians by Lev Grossman. I gave this book a one out of five stars because I absolutely hated it. It follows our main character, Quentin, as he goes to a magical school. He finds out he's magical and it kind of goes through his, uh, his four or five years at this magical college. Um, and that's really all I can really say about it. It was just awful. I wrote a review for this book on Goodreads. And I said that if I could compare this book to a type of person, I would compare it to a pompous, stuck-up, wannabe hipster that thinks he's a lot cooler than he is. This is what that book was to me. It was trying so hard to be dark and edgy, and it just wasn't. I felt like what he did was ripped off J.K. Rowling and C.S. Lewis' Magical Worlds and then made fun of them in this book. That's what I feel like he was doing. And some people might think that's cool and like hipster or like up and coming, but I just thought it was stupid and I could not have been more disappointed in this book. Needless to say, I will not be carrying on with this series. This next book that I read I'm so excited about. Um, it was like my favorite book of the whole readathon and maybe even my favorite book of 2016 so far. And that is A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. This book, Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. I almost want to do a full book review <laughs> over this book, um, but I'll just give you a synopsis. It follows our main character, Mary. She's eight years old, and it's at a time when her older sister, her 14-year-old sister, Marjorie, is having a lot of psychological problems. She's saying a lot of weird things, doing a lot of weird things, so they, they're thinking maybe she's schizophrenic. The father gets really into religion, and he takes her to a priest, and they begin to believe that Marjorie is possessed. So the story follows the family who the father had just gotten laid off, they were really low on money, um, and they got a reality television show, picked up this exorcism that they were going to do, and it got broadcasted for the whole world to see this exorcism. Along the way, there are blog posts from like that reviews each episode of this exorcism TV show. Um, it's, oh, I just, I don't want to give too much away because this book was so good. I was reading it and like there were several times I just had to stop. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like at the end, oh my God, you have to pick this book up, A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. It was wonderful. I gave it a five out of five stars. And the last book that I read for genre -thon was Paper Towns by John Green. And let me just say, I am so glad that I read this book. I was very hesitant at first. I liked Fault in Their Stars, but I wasn't crazy about it like a lot of people were crazy about his book. So, you know, I just kind of went into this not thinking much. But I loved this story, and I thought it was written so beautifully. It's about, it follows our main character, Quentin, um, in his search looking for Margot. And she's kind of disappeared, and Margo's this really fun, interesting person. She's just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth, but she's left little clues for Quentin as to where she might be. It's a really good, I think, coming-of-age story. I love the Walt Whitman poetry woven in throughout, throughout this, and I also loved how it wasn't like a heavy romance novel. Like, there was some aspect of romance in it, but for the most part, it was just so fun and light and I just enjoyed it so much and there were so many moments that just cracked me up like when the black friend had to wear a heritage not hate confederate flag uh, t-shirt because it's the only t-shirt they had at the convenience store I was laughing so hard so this book was wonderful I'm so glad I read it Paper Towns by John Green I gave it a five out of five stars as well that's it. I read three books for this readathon. I plan on doing another readathon next month, so make sure that you check that out. And I will see you guys later. Bye!